Now to an incredible story of a very odd couple indeed. The abandoned platypus near death and his unlikely four-legged sa saviour. It was so amazing, it has the dog's owners and wildlife experts scratching their heads in disbelief. Thankfully, we have weekend Sunrise reporter Jessica Tankered with us to tell us more. Guys, forget Lassie, we've got Bronson the Wonder Dog and what this staffie did to save the platypus pup, you simply won't believe. Take a look. Staffies don't always get the best rap. But Bronson is no ordinary dog. Oh, you're very much a hero. <laughs> yeah, we can't believe it. Everybody's stunned. He's a superhero, super dog. Sam Morgan is Bronson's owner. Oh boy, you're yeah. that's my man. Last week he heard Bronson barking and went to investigate. I saw something in his mouth. I thought it was like an old chew toy. Not a dog toy but a real-life platypus pup Bronson carried gently to safety between his jaws of life. We just couldn't believe that a dog could have picked it up and carried it that distance and it not be injured at all, so we were really surprised. Platypus are not endangered, but the population is under threat. It seems this one had gone looking for food and was close to death when Bronson found him. Just down near that fence along this way is the creek and it's so dry at the moment because we haven't had much rain. Sam's grandmother, Ruth Garstang, helped rush the suffering platypus to nearby Australian Reptile Park, where Tim Faulkner took charge of his recovery. Hello, mate. The platypus has left mum, naturally. He's tried to find a new home that hasn't worked and he's ended up in a farm paddock and he meets this big brood of a dog with giant teeth who gently caresses him and takes him up to a family. I mean, what movie does that happen in? Only one we can think of. What condition was he in when he got dropped off here? Awful. He was in really poor condition, really lethargic. Uh, he was, you know, he should be 700 grams, he weighed 300. There, but please. since receiving around-the-clock care, the platypus is getting stronger and stronger. We've got 380 grams. That's spectacular. Uh, that's 30 grams in the last two days, and that's nearly 25% of his body weight that he's put on in the last five days. Tim believes the rare pup would have had no chance if Bronson hadn't come to the rescue. Were there any rewards that Bronson got? Oh yes, he gets lots of rewards. He gets um, coconut oil and eggs on his biscuits at night. You are kidding me. No, I'm not. <laughs> He's a spoiled dog. <laughs> And now Bronson is definitely the favourite child. Yes, he really is a golden child <laughs> and a hero at that. So does he have a name? No, we haven't named him yet. What about Pete the platypus? Pete is a great name. I, I knew of a platypus called Pete in the storybook when I was a kid. We might go with that one, hey? Pete the platypus. So the good news <laughs> is Pete is doing so well. The plan is return him to release him back into the wild in the next two weeks. So it's a very happy ending to this platypus tale. But what do you reckon, guys? What do you make of the name? Do you I think, think Pete's, Pete's pretty platypus? good? Yeah, I like the alliteration there. He's not bad, Pete. I Patrick. Think, yeah, Anne just suggested uh, Flap, which was the name of the um, platypus in Blinky Bill. That's I reckon not bad. Bill could be good. You know? Yeah, Bill would Maybe. be good. Yeah, Maybe. Pete's good. Let's go with Pete. Let's go very, with very Pete. Very, very cute story. Guys. Thank you very much, Jess, for that. How about the coconut oil on the oh, I, I want coconut yeah. oil and on my eggs. Can I have that this morning? Yeah. Is it possible? Just, just ask. Yeah. Someone will get it for you. Please. <laughs>